to create the uh, moving uh, rain chart in Excel, uh, if we have um, um, if we have samples taken like this, if we have replication, this is the data set from one of the class, three exam grades, exam one, exam two, exam three. So if we have that kind of situation, three data points, typically for a moving average chart or um, we don't have uh, uh, the, we don't have the, um, uh, we don't have the uh, uh, the mean, just one data point for a moving average chart. But in this case, we have three samples, so I can always uh, just do average of uh, the individual sample point. And then let me change this column. This thing has a random variable that is a random number generator that's constantly changing the number. Let me do both of those. Control C. Now we change it to number. All right. Now they're just number. They're not constantly changing. Okay. So these averages, and then we need to calculate the instead of range, we need to calculate the moving range. Now to calculate moving range, we need to first find the range. So that is equal to we can do uh, max of these three data points. Uh, this three and then minus the mean of that three data point so mean of that three data point the minimum of that so that gives us the uh, range now to calculate the moving range uh, the first one is no range no moving range in the second one is going to be basically uh, the uh, the moving range is basically uh, this minus this so it's gonna keep changing like that and we need the absolute value of that ABS to create the job like that we actually don't need that R but anyway so that is the moving range now to calculate the moving range bar we can simply the average of all the moving range like that average of all the moving range so then we got the moving range then we need to calculate the upper control limit for uh, moving range for this uh, uh, moving range method upper control and then lower control limit for the moving range using the moving range method now in moving range method we need constant value d2 small d2 which is um, for a three uh, sample in this case we got three sample is 1.693 uh, from the chart we can actually show you the chart here so this is the chart for a for three we're gonna look at row number three d2 is 1.693 any stat book has that chart now go back to the all right so here we are equal to now x we also need the x bar bar so let's create another uh, column x bar bar in this case uh, if we don't have any replication it's only x bar but in this case we do have replication so we gotta find out that so average equal to average so you can average all these data points or you can just simply average that they should be same exact same now here equal to x bar bar i want to freeze that i will tell you why plus uh, D2 uh, plus uh, let me check the formula One time. This one. the formula is uh, control chart formula let me write down here so 
we can see what's going on so the uh, control chart formula is uh, we can write here is for upper control limit for example control chart formula is created using three standard deviations so x bar bar plus three times the standard deviation sigma in this case sigma is equal to mr moving range average divided by d2 so like that so this formula uh, let me get out from here so here the formula would be equal to uh, x bar bar this plus the three times i'm going to freeze that before i do that freeze plus three times the standard deviation which is mr that is uh, m r bar i'm going to freeze that too divide by d2 this one i'm going to freeze that too so freeze that then copy that here let me delete that small dot there oh my god it's copied here too okay copy delete that so i'm going to change the only the plus sign to minus sign which will make this uh, the lower control limit so that's the control limit now we can simply select that uh, x bar x bar bar and then upper control lower control and then insert go there whatever chart you like so that would be a that is the individual x bar individual uh, m moving range moving range chart like that so when we have a huge within uh, very low not a, sorry very very low within variation then we create this uh, individual moving range chart the data has more individualistic characteristics than between characteristics in that kind of situation we use this individual moving chart so that's how you create an individual moving chart in excel